So these are just a, a quick list of some of the ways in which mixing can affect crystallization. But I think um, you know, you'll know what it's practicing engineers and chemists that mixing is often highlighted as an area that one needs to think about. And uh, in today's session, I'm going to really talk to you about practical tools you can use to quantify um, and to understand what kind of mixing is likely to be important in your application. So there are some um, what you might call fancy tools out there which um, usually take a, a real power user or a dedicated user to apply. And one of them is called computational fluid dynamics. That's an area where I actually did my own PhD and our company started in that field. And uh, this involves dividing the reactor into a large number like maybe a million subdivisions and then looking at the three-dimensional transport of mass, heat and momentum equations in that mesh of cells. And this has the potential to give you a very detailed description of what's happening inside the reactor. Um, but there are some severe limitations in that really for many complex processes, especially those involving multi-phase systems, chemically reacting systems, we really don't even know how to write down the equations that need to be solved in these in these problems. So it's not so much a limitation of the technique, but a limitation on what um, the state of current understanding is of some of these phenomena. But certainly you can get some excellent animations, and I'm showing a few of our old animations here just to give you a flavor of the kind of output these tools can produce. And uh, that upper left one is a pitch blade turbine um, in a process where it's important to have good contact of the liquid with the uh, free surface. And on the bottom right here, I have a fermentation vessel where we have three impellers, um, two kind of axial flow impellers and one gas dispersion impeller. And uh, this is a simulation of the breakup of the bubbles uh, in a fermentation. But again, I can tell you as a experienced practitioner with CFD that I can get any pictures that you want from this technique depending on the settings and particular parameters that I use for the simulation. So it's very, I think, useful for illustration, presentation. Um, I've heard it referred to as colors for directors. That would be uh, based on the CFD acronym. Um, but um, just to be aware, I think, of the limitations because it is a completely kind of a priori technique. Uh, and typically, like I say, it takes quite a while to, to master. So at the other end of the spectrum, I think in terms of practicality, you have the tools I'm going to concentrate on in today's session, which are the Dynacam so-called utilities, uh, mixing utilities and heat transfer utilities. And uh, these are quick and easy to use. Uh, you'll see that shortly. And they are also potentially quite sophisticated. I say that because uh, you can do some quite subtle things, calculate some quite subtle characteristics with these tools. And also, we've tried to leverage as much of our own understanding of mixing into the tools to make them as powerful as possible. So uh, these tend to cover you know, the common shapes of base that you would encounter in the industry, also the common types of impeller. Uh, not every type of impeller is covered. We're always interested to hear if you have impellers that we don't cover, and if there's information out there that allows us to describe the performance of those impellers in empirical chemical engineering terms, then we include them in the tools. Um, and also, on the heat transfer side, the tools look at the different kinds of jackets that are typically used. Um, in the tools, you'll see that you can have up to four impellers on the same agitator shaft. The impellers can be of different types. And then you can look at several different aspects of mixing, both single and multi-phase. So these are really... Um, Relatively point and click. Um, I've heard people say if you can book a flight on continental.com or on Ryanair.com, then you can probably use these tools. Now, one of the questions that people will always have around mixing, um, because like in Ed Paul's slide at the beginning, it means so many different things. It can impact so many different phenomena that you know you want to happen. Um, we provide using our process scheme visualization tool, a way for you to try to figure out, well, what kind of mixing is it that really matters in my case? So this is actually the process scheme for the problem that uh, we're going to work on in, t in this week's training. So uh, I will just talk you through it, and then I'll actually build it for you so you can see how the elements come together. 